Well, look who's back. It's old Patsy McFly and Doc McGruffins. Who's that? Well, it's my beard, of course. It's finally sentient. We made it. And in this video, I'm going to share with you five key principles for getting and staying lean without counting calories. Why should we do this without counting calories? Well, calorie counting is tedious. It's boring. People are frequently frustrated by it, and it can often cause us to miss the principles of sound nutrition, which I think are even more fundamental and important. So strap it on, no, strap in, sit down, and let's get started. Principle number one, focus on real foods versus the standard American diet. Why does this matter? Well, think about it. What is easier to overconsume? Take a giant salad with lots of grilled chicken and fresh vegetables and some fruit and nuts. Pretty satiating, right? Very nutrient dense. And compare that to pizza, burgers, french fries, cheesecake. The point is so obvious, it is hardly worth stating. When you focus on real food, and by that I simply mean food that is minimally processed and close to nature, lean proteins, fruit, veggies, healthy fats, avocado, nuts, seeds, whole grains, it helps you to control calories automatically and intuitively. That's principle number one, focusing on real foods. Principle number two is to increase protein. Protein is the magical macronutrient. Protein fights hunger by boosting satiety. It has a higher thermic effect. It takes more calories to digest and assimilate protein than the other macronutrients. And protein, of course, is going to help to aid in muscle recovery and for developing that lean, hard muscle that I know you want so badly. Protein is going to help you do that. So my recommendation is this. Whatever you want to weigh, try to consume that in grams of protein per day. If you want to weigh 150 pounds, consume 150 grams of protein per day. If you want to weigh 725 pounds, don't do that. We're going to have a different conversation on another day. But generally, eat whatever you want to weigh in protein per grams per day. Principle number three is a little bit more controversial, but I found this has been highly effective for myself and so many of the people that I've worked with throughout the, wow, over a decade now of uh, being a coach and trainer, and that is to reduce meal frequency. Here's why this works. If you just condense the amount of time that you give yourself to eat every single day, that's less time that you have to eat, less time that you have to overconsume and to sort of blow your caloric budget. So by just shrinking your eating window, by having fewer meals per day or just putting all of your meals into say a four to six hour window, it is going to help you to eat a very satisfying meal or even two meals, but still come in under where you need to be calorically. So that way you are of course getting and staying lean. Now here's a cool thing about reducing meal frequency. You don't have to do it every day. Some people like to do that. They just like to have two or even just one meal per day, the OMAD program that's pretty popular. People do great with that. But if you want something a little bit more tame, you might just do this. Two days per week, have just two meals. And then the rest of the week, have three meals. It's the trend that matters. And even if you just bring those calories down two days per week, that can often be enough to start sending you in the right direction of getting leaner and harder and more muscular. Plus, it's very sustainable. This is a really practical approach and you're not counting a single calorie. Okay, the next principle is all about exercise, baby, and it's resistance training. I want you to resistance train at least three days per week. When you work out, when you train against resistance, whether you're weightlifting or using your own body weight or kettlebells, one of my favorite tools, you are forcing your body to put on more lean muscle, which is metabolically expensive, and this is going to cause you to burn more calories automatically rather than just manually. Not only that, but when you resistance train and you put on muscle, you just look a lot better. It's not just about losing fat, right? We want a leaner and harder and more defined look, and the exercise component is absolutely critical for that look. Cardio is great, that's fine, but if you're looking for bang for buck efficiency for a leaner, harder physique, you need to resistance train three days per week at least, I recommend picking five lifts, push, pull, hinge, squat, abs, perform three to five sets, somewhere between five to 10 reps, and use a weight where you're working very close to failure. Final point, final principle, is to stay neat, my friends. What does that mean? <laughs> yes, that's right. People say that my hair is very approachable. Neat, non-exercise aerobic thermogenesis. That's the big meaty $10 word we're looking for. What is neat? Well, it's just all the little movement that you do throughout the day. It could be everything from fidgeting to air guitar. The point is you want to stay as active as you can throughout the day because our natural tendency as we're getting leaner, as we're dieting down and we're losing weight is we tend to sort of down shift 
metabolically. And you'll notice that meat goes down. You'll just start being more still. You'll stop fidgeting. So the principle here is to fight against that actively. Walk more, take the stairs, park further away, do a lot of air drumming, air guitar, tap your feet, fidget as much as you can, and do more chores. Household chores are great. You, you make your, 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 your wife happy or your husband happy. You do more chores, you get stuff done, you go for walks, you pet cats you have a, a great day. So those are the five principles for getting and staying lean. So you can have that lean, hard physique that you've always wanted since, since I don't know, since you saw what's the latest movie that has attracted people at 300. Troy, you like Troy? If you're into that, comment, say, yes, Pat, I like Troy. We'll see you in the next video. Subscribe, strong on.